We, what we did here is we took a understairs space that the clients just really wanted to maximize. They really love their love their wine. They just wanted to have something that was kind of a showpiece for them. They do a lot of entertaining and they've got some, some really good wines and they're really on their way to actually filling it up. They're about 40% full right now. As you can see here, custom glass, dual pane glass really seals in the cool there. Understair spaces tend to be a little more difficult with the cooling aspect of it because we can't really hide them as well. So as you can see here, what we did is we have a commercial cooling unit that is tucked behind a custom grill space. So it just really looks like it, it grew there. And then everything here is just custom stained oak and just built to their specifications. They've now gone to personalizing it. Lots of display case. They have room for their magnums in that area. And then on the, on the end cap there, just a really cool way to kind of display some wine to everybody. But uh, we're really super pleased with how this came out and obviously the clients absolutely love it. This is a commercial RM system. So this is a split system. So the split system is rack mounted and then you've got the condenser that is on, right on the side yard. So we've run our lines through their, their garages on the other side and out to the side yard. Every job obviously starts with a, you know, uh, inspiration or, or a space that they're, they're wanting to go through. First thing I like to ask people is what is your, do you have any inspiration picks? Because most people, once they get to us, they typically thought about it quite a bit. You know, they've done the Pinterest, they've gone to our website, you know, or other, or even other people's websites and they've found kind of what, what they like, you know? So I would say nine out of 10 times, most of the people say, oh, this is what I like. And they present us with something and then we basically take that and then we kind of springboard from there and kind of give them the, what they want, you know? And once again, that goes back into the discussions of all of the different elements. And if it's wood, which in this case it was, all of the different elements, you know, that they've seen in their inspiration picks and putting them into, their design and even you know maybe even trying to introduce other elements that they haven't even necessarily thought about they have an understair space they contacted us we came out they basically told us what their rough measurements were you know and we were able to kind of gauge what the layout was going to be and then kind of at the first thing i like to do is i kind of like to give people ballpark budgets of what things are cost. Because there are a lot of people that really don't have concepts of what, what building a wine cellar truly is, you know? And I always like to remind people, you're basically building a very large refrigerator. So they're not inexpensive, you know? So um, in this case, once we kind of decided that the budget was where they wanted to be, and then I started to show them some different kinds of cellars that we have done. And basically what we like to do is we like to clue in on a lot of the different elements within a wood. That's the other aspect is we, we clued in that they wanted wood cellar. So we try and find out what their eyes visually like within their cellar. In this case, they didn't like diamond racking, but they did like having bottles displayed. There's this combination of volume versus display. In this case, you know, we, we decided like to have an open space. We, I, I love doing open spaces in the middle of just because it gives you, as you can see here, what they did is they displayed some of their stuff that has meaning to them, decanters, you know, it, it ranges, you know. So once we got all of the design aspects of it down, then it was just a matter of putting it into production. And in the meantime, we had to deal with all of the cooling aspects of it. And so with an understair space, cooling it can be a little bit of a challenge because there's usually no place to put to hide a cooler. So in this case, in our cooling design, you know, we had to basically build our racking around the cooler. Part of our, what we do is we, we do everything related to a cellar. I mean, we do all of the insulation because that's a huge component of building a, a cellar is you, it has to be fully insulated, otherwise it's just not gonna work properly, you know, and it's gonna cost you money. So dual pane insulated glass in metal frames, that's that's pretty much a must for any seller. Closed cell spray foam behind the walls, install the cooling system, install the racking, and that's where we are today, so. All of our uh, cooling systems are, are installed by licensed HVAC tech technicians that focus only on 
cooling, you know, on wine cellars because wine cellars are a completely different beast than a, a regular traditional HVAC system, you know. Interestingly, right now, the, the wood cellars are taking a lot longer just because of these are all custom made by really awesome craftsmen, cabinet makers. For just the racking right now, we're at probably about 10 to 12 weeks um, for that. You know, probably two years ago, that number was probably more like six to eight weeks, you know, but obviously in current times, everybody is extremely busy. But so that typically is the, well, that's where we're at right now. In that time, we can usually get a lot of the other things done, you know, so there might, there might be an additional two weeks on top of that, week to two weeks, depending to, to actually do final, get everything finalized. Installs maybe you take two days. You know, we basically do everything to piece them in there, and then our craftsmen come in and they do all the finishing touches to that need to be, you know, that's, because the racking is definitely not a just slide it in there sort of a thing, you know, I mean, they, they come in component pieces, that have to be reassembled. First of all, the wood, it's, okay, what, what kind of wood do you really, do you want? Do you want a, a more hard wood? Do you want something maybe that is maybe a little bit more on the cost efficient side? If somebody is having a really dark finished stain that they ultimately want, I don't necessarily recommend them going with high, high red woods because you're going to be doing a dark stain anyways. If you're doing a lighter stain where you're going to see more of the natural wood elements to it, then yeah, you probably would want to go with a higher end oak, walnut, something like that. Minimum of a year, yearly, they do need to be maintained. We always build our cellars such that it, we're cognizant of maintenance when we do it. In fact, with this cellar, the wood grill pulls off so you can easily get inside to do maintenance on that. We don't typically do anything with the flooring. We leave that up to the client and their contractor, whatever they want to do. As for the lighting, we do LED lighting in our racks. I mean, and once again, this is going to be all dependent on the type of racking system that we use. But when we're talking about wood, there's a few different areas that you can put LED lighting. We always put LED lighting on that high reveal or the angle. That's a great area to put uh, LED lighting, the open areas. But it's really tough to do anything with the single bottleneck out or the diamond racking or any of those. You just can't, it just doesn't lend itself to putting LED lighting. Thank you for taking this walkthrough on our under the stair cellar that we're super proud of.